Well, uh, we're just over a week away from uh, the curtain going down on another great career of a uh, local Launceston uh, rider. Matt Goss has been uh, good enough to join us. Matt, great to uh, to see you. Welcome back to Launceston. And uh, can you believe it? Uh, the career is coming to a, a close and uh, you're going to do it here uh, not far from where we are at the moment. No, exactly. Uh, look, really, really looking forward to getting out and racing around the streets one more time. Uh, you know, this race was one that really kicked everything off for me yep. a, a while ago now. Mm. I don't know how many years, probably 12, 13, 14 years ago. So it's nice to come back and, uh, you know, really looking forward to it. It's always a great event and uh, I've got no doubt that this one will be the same. You're a three-time winner of the Stan Shaker Cycling Classic. Uh, as you said, it holds special memories. Why have you chosen this race to, uh, to be the last one of your career? Well, like I said, you know, it, it's a race where I kind of got my start. You know, mm. I, I was a young fella here and beat some of the, the older pros that come down and it kind of made those guys sit up and take a bit of notice. So, um, you know, it's kind of what got me on the radar. So I figured, you know, it's, it's going to be nice to come back and, and race here and honour the work that Stan did in the, mm. the original ones to, to get this race off the ground and to be such a success like it is. You know, it's, it's, uh, it was a no-brainer to come back here and finish with, with this crit. And from those early days, Matt, uh, when you won your first Stan Shaker Classic to, to what you've achieved uh, nationally and, and internationally with a, a world championship and, and also, of course, uh, that uh, magnificent performance, uh, Milan San Remo, uh, some time ago, where you, I think you beat the likes of uh, Cancellara and uh, Gilbert. Um, did you ever foresee that uh, that is the path you would have gone down and, and the success that you would have achieved in your professional career? Oh, absolutely not. I don't think any young young guy, you know, you dream that you can do these type of results and win these type of races, but, you know, you, you never really think it until mm. you've done it. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's great. You know, I look back on it, I'm really happy with the career. Um, you know, it wouldn't change a single thing. So, uh, you know, been a good good 10 years, but now it's time to, to look elsewhere for things to do and, uh, you know, what the next chapter may be. And the decision to uh, to retire from uh, professional cycling, was that a decision that you stewed over for, for a long time or were there things coming around in your mind that you wanted to start thinking about that next chapter? Yeah, it's always something that, you know, you don't take lightly for sure. You know, it wasn't I woke up one morning and said, you know, that enough's enough. It was, a, you know, a lot of talk and, uh, you know, it wasn't made overnight, but when I, it, it was a, a few months, you know, probably even more, you have those thoughts starting to creep in from before that. But, um, you know, once I made the decision, you know, it was almost, you know, like a, a relief, you know, when you finally make that final call. Um, it was really just excitement about what the next chapter is. And obviously we've got uh, such great depth with, with cycling uh, in Tasmania. Uh, they're doing so well on the international stage. Of course, we've had uh, Georgia Baker, Amy Cure at the Rio Olympics, Richie Port doing well, and a couple of your old mates from uh, Flowery Gully, uh, Wes and Bernie Sulzberger, they're going to be joining with you uh, as the curtain falls on their career in, uh, in one of your own races. You must be pretty excited about uh, catching up with your mates and uh, being able to, I guess, bid farewell to all your fans and, and your family and uh, friends here in Launceston. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tasmanian cycling is going from strength to strength and I don't think that's going to stop, you know. I think it's def definitely on the rise and it'll keep going that way. But yeah, as for the race, it's going to be great to race mm. alongside, you know, all the all the people I've, you know, come to race with over the years and uh, you know, especially Wes and Bernie, who were next door neighbours many moons ago now. But, um, you know, it's going to be quite emotional to be racing with those guys where it all started as well. So, and, you know, a few other old friends coming down from around around Oz that are going to be racing as well so it'll be a good race and I'm really looking forward to it. And for you personally some of your uh, your highlights over your uh, international career Matt? Uh, look there's a, there's always there's a few highlights but there's a couple that stand out first ones are representing your, your country you know at Olympic level world championship level Commonwealth Games level that's always a, an honour so you know that's always a highlight but individual races you know there's a couple obviously Milan San Remo is a, a massive highlight for myself and uh, you know another one which is Probably not as big a victory, but still standing on the Tour de France podium, the, the, the number one step in Nice after winning the team time trial, uh, with a bunch of mates and teammates, and uh, you know that was a pretty pretty special day too. Well, uh, Matt, congratulations! It's been a, a fabulous career. We've all enjoyed uh, watching it from afar over many years. We wish you well in retirement, and uh, no doubt looking forward to uh, the Stan Shaker Cycling Classic November the 27th. So uh, make sure you join us down here in Launceston at the City Park November the 27th. Some great racing to be had, Matt Goss. Thanks again for your time. Great to catch up. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate.